Well, Tom, this time last year you went to Wimbledon, top of the league. What's changed in a year? Um, I think um, new players um, come and go. With uh, Clarky going, Jamal going. Um, obviously, I think I think we had Ben Thompson at the time, um, and we had to like obviously filled their void really. Um, I know Tommy went back uh, a lot earlier than uh, we expected, but. Um, yeah, with Clarkey and Jamal going, obviously Tomo and Nathan Thompson, uh, which is they are big players and they're big misses, and um, I think we had to we had to f f f fill them at them places, and we, I think we're getting there. Has their loss made that bigger impact then? I won't say a massive impact. I just think because obviously new players coming in 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 the summer, which um, getting used to the um, to the, team, the players, getting used to their club. Uh, I think I was in the same position last year where I was getting settled in. It took me a few, probably a few months to settle in, uh, settle in properly. Um, but um, yeah, time will tell, really. I suppose the position then was as irrelevant as it is today because it's where you finish. Yeah, definitely. I think um, we had a we had a storming start last season. Um, I think everyone agreed that we didn't really play the, that best of football last season. Uh, but we we got games, we won games, and. We put point, uh, points on the board and uh, like I said, I think it's where you finish at the end of the season and uh, I know we, hasn't, we haven't started well as everyone, as everyone wanted to but um, we've got a long way to go and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure everyone will be up there, oh, well, I'm sure this club will be up there. You said you took time to bed in, Wimbledon was obviously the game where you made your first mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was my first goal and um, it's always nice to get a first goal for the club um, and we won that game as well so it was a bonus. Do you feel, I know you're not there to score goals, but do you feel you get enough from set pieces and, and things like that? Yeah, I get a fair share, yeah. It's just, um, I try my best to try and get in that position where to try and score goals and set pieces. Um, I think my last one, some set piece was Coventry at home, uh, which I scored to make it 1-1 and um, yeah, I want to I try and get them positioned. Sometimes I'm not in the box, sometimes I'm, there, I'm, I'm on the other edge of the box, but that's the gaffer's call at the end of the day and um, if he wants to put me in there, I'll try and put my head on it. You do a lot of set pieces on the training ground. Can you ever actually replicate what you do on the pitch? I don't think, well, I think we're there to, that's what training's for, to practice. Um, we do work a lot on it, of it, on it uh, in set pieces. We did it. Um, we did some on Tuesday. We did some today, and um, we need to really get better at it. Uh, better at it because uh, we've got big lads in that box, and um, I think it's a big, big area for us to get goals. Now you're a captain. What what is a captain supposed to bring? I mean, I think Arsenal got five of them. So, so what does a captain do? Um, I think it's just like a leadership. Um, I think you try and get the boys together um, as one um, on and off the pitch. Uh, which is good to get off the pitch, to get like socialised with the lads, um, and like I said, just just to lead on the pitch really, just to get the boys going. It was kind of curious timing. Did, did Kenny just come to you and say, "I'd like you to be the captain"? Um, it was just uh, yeah, it was in the morning, and uh, obviously I, I was a, I was a captain a few times this season, um, uh, which is obviously it's like it, it's an honour to be a captain for this club, and um, yeah. He, he um, he pulled everyone this morning, uh, well the day day of the morning, and um, he just said, obviously I want I want um, Tom to be my captain and uh, Lee to be my vice, and obviously I think he spoke to the um, uh, Gareth and uh, Pitts before, and and um, yeah, it just, it just it, he did it on the day. At times they weren't playing anyway, so it probably you, you were probably a captain before that. Yeah, they were obviously they wasn't in the side at the time. Um, I think um, Gaffer wanted uh, a, a captain on the pitch, um, not just the, like uh, the the and the, the one-off games where if if Pitts played or if Gaz played, and um, I think he's seen me as as the, the the right person to take over. Now you said you do go back to Wimbledon on Saturday. How important for you is it that you start to get a few results going your way? Yeah, definitely. We want to like. We want to win every game, and it's it's been tough this season because um, it was like on, on Saturday it was frustrating because we, we could have had more goals. We well, we, we didn't score, but we we should have we should have scored a lot a lot of goals in that game where 
on the other day, I think the keeper played well. Uh, I think he was there man of the match, and uh, we had a few chances in the first half. We had, we had a few in the second half, but uh, yeah, more frustrating than anything. Um, but we just need to get uh, get back and get on that on that uh, on them that, them points on the board. And obviously, we haven't, we haven't lost in three games, and um, that's a bonus. That's a confidence boost for the lads, and we just need to keep on going. As the captain, do you see a lot wrong with the spirit around the place during the week? No, definitely, no, no, absolutely not. We we always we always have a laugh and a joking. We're always in the gym before training and always like having banter and that, which is good. Um, obviously, we're in the physio room talking, we always like talking to change rooms. Uh, the te- togetherness is is there. It's never it's never gone. And um, obviously, we. We try and, like I said before, we try and socialise as much as we can and um, get the lads together. So um, we, we've always uh, we always stick together as a team, and, uh, and that will never change. Because we asked Christian the same question last week: Do you feel that you can stand up on the podium if you think things aren't quite right and say to the manager what your views are? Yeah, I think the gaffer wants that. I think if if, if I think he's, he's, he's told the lads before, and um, if. If you, if you want to say something, come to my office and we'll try and we'll talk about it and uh, change things if, if, you, if you don't think this is working and uh, the gaffer's perfect with that. He, he wants players to do that and um, if, if the boys want me to go in and, and speak to him, not just about football but anything, and I'll, I'll do so. Yeah. You've played in two different positions this season. Obviously midfield is your favourite, but you have played quite a lot in central defence as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Obviously, I was I was a centre half when I was younger, and um, it's it, it don't really it go from you. Um, I've been in, in midfield for the last few years now, and which I enjoy that uh, that holding role. I'm not the best best player in the world. I'm not the best on the ball, but I, I like to I like to break play up, and um, I like to try and help the team as much as I can. And um, it feel like if, for myself, it feel like I do that. You do the dirty work that obviously somebody needs to do. Yeah, I think we obviously when we got the closest in there to get on the ball um, to to play uh, play players through, we got obviously Marcus on the wings, um, got Ronan and Gaz, Willow, um, and if it breaks down, I'm always going to be behind them. Um, uh, be behind them, and um, the gaffer always says, "I just want you to stay uh, stay in that little little hole, and um, if it does break down, you're always there to cover them." You recently encountered a local derby. They don't come around too too much. Was your experience of that everything you were told it was? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was um, more than I expected. To be fair, uh, I've never really played in a big big derby. Uh, that was my first, and it was it was it was brilliant. When we were, it went out for the warm up, um, the crowds were there straight away, and uh, the atmosphere was, was rocking from from the warm-up to the last minute, which, which was brilliant and uh, obviously the result, I thought the, the result was kind for them. Um, I didn't think it was a 4-0. Um, I thought we, we that was our be, a, a best performance this season, and um, but obviously the result didn't go away, but the, obviously the, um, the atmosphere was unbelievable and the fans were always there like they have been all season. If you doubted it, that shows you what this club could be perhaps? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think. We've we've seen what the club can be in uh, over the few uh, well over the last ten years where they've been in the Premier League and everything like that. They've been um, they've had some big big players and um, obviously at the time at the minute we're in League One, but we want to try and get this club back up to where it belongs, even if it's not even if it's Championship level. Stay there for a few years and then you never know. Because of the away following you get in particular, but not, not only that, the home crowd as well. Does it put you under extra pressure to perform? Um, I don't think, I don't think it, it, it puts you under, under pressure. I just think that's the standard for this club. I just think the fans are always out, out in numbers. You've seen it last year against Donny. There were there was there. There were thousands there at Donny, and um, it was nice to get a win from. Uh, come all that way, and um, I'm sure the fans uh, enjoyed that. Uh, enjoyed the journey back because we got three points. And um, but yeah, ever since I've been here, the, the, the following has is, is been unbelievable. It was a bit smash and grab. You mentioned Doncaster, but you'll take that. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll take we'll take three points every day of the week. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a smash and grab, but we had a few last year where we had a smash and grabs, and um, it's all about the points. Now, whatever they told you about the South Coast when you first came down here, you'll know that was completely untrue by the weather outside there today. Um, but. 
tell us about how you've settled down. You've been here over a year now. So uh, do you feel like a, a, a proper southerner? Yeah. Oh, I won't say southerner, no. <laughs> but uh, I've still got my, uh, my northern accent. And uh, every time I go out and people say, oh, where are you from? If I go in taxis and say, oh, mm. whereabouts are you from up north? Then because my accent will never go. And uh, But I love it down here. Yeah, it's, um, it's a nice place uh, in the country. Um, it's better in the summer than it is in the winter. Um, yeah. Obviously, today is, is, is horrendous out there. But... Um, it's a lot better than it is up north, there's more things to do down here. Obviously you've got a lot of places where you can go like London, Brighton, Bournemouth and... Um, but yeah, it's, um, I'm certainly, I've, I've certainly I've settled in quite well over the last, what, is it 15, 16 months and uh, I've really enjoyed it. How do you actually switch off from football? What did you do? Um, I think it's... I, well, I try and play golf as much as I can and um, it's, not, it's hard over the last couple of weeks where you, We've had games, we've had obviously the weather's not been the, uh, the kindest and but I just, uh, it's just nice to go back and obviously uh, go back to your home and just chill out really and um, obviously meet the boys for coffees after training and um, uh, but yeah it's just, I usually play golf but uh, the weather at the minute is not, it's not the best. Yeah but it's another thing we brought up with Christian last week was it was about players do get a lot of free time but you're quite, you're quite comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm used to it now. Yeah, obviously, the free time that I get, obviously, it was different when I was in the youth team and everything like that because um, I wasn't, I wasn't having free time after after training because you're doing jobs for the club, doing this and doing that. And uh, but now, yeah, free time is um, is after is after training, and after dinner, um, and you can you can do what you want if you got jobs on or you got things to do after training. Go do it, Tom. Thanks for joining us and enjoy your free time. No, Cheers, thanks, mate. Thanks.